a warm greeting, today is Monday, August 21, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. At the time of recording this video, it is 6.30 in the evening local time in the Dominican Republic and Haiti, where they are preparing for the imminent impact of Tropical Storm Franklin. In this video, I will be providing an update on the forecast and discussing the findings from the Hurricane Hunter aircraft and the erratic behavior of this tropical cyclone over the last 12 hours. But before that, I wanted to mention that in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, what was Invest 91 has now become Tropical Depression number 9 of the season. It is expected to strengthen into Tropical Storm Herald before reaching regions of southern Texas. For those interested in this disturbance, I will be recording a video later today, which will be available on my YouTube channel. Let's now focus on the Eastern Caribbean region. Here we have Tropical Storm Franklin, maintaining sustained maximum winds of 50 miles per hour. However, wind shear has been a crucial factor in disrupting this storm today. A Hurricane Hunter aircraft identified that the low-level circulation center is located approximately in this area. But you can see that the mid-level circulation is to the northeast, as well as the strongest area of rain and thunderstorms. It's clear evidence that the strong wind shear from the west and southwest has significantly disorganized this tropical cyclone. The aircraft is still investigating the area and has found that during the afternoon, the circulation center has remained fairly stationary near latitude 14.4 degrees north and longitude 70.1 degrees west. The circulation center has been somewhat erratic, and the circulation is not as well defined compared to the last Hurricane Hunter mission. The aircraft found that it's generating winds of tropical storm force, and that's why, as of 5 in the evening, it remains a tropical storm with sustained maximum winds of 50 miles per hour. Additionally, the Hurricane Hunter aircraft found that the circulation center was further south than estimated at 11 in the morning. As you can see in this graph, the center underwent a southward relocation, and we'll now discuss how this will affect the cyclone's forecast. In the infrared satellite image, we can see that the circulation center is located approximately in this zone. Notice that the strongest area of thunderstorms is to the east of the circulation. Under these conditions, Tropical Storm Franklin probably won't strengthen much over the next few hours. However, the National Hurricane Center notes that as it moves northward toward the Dominican Republic, conditions may improve, allowing it to strengthen a bit and potentially reach as a moderate or strong tropical storm during Wednesday morning. The most significant change due to the relocation of the center is that it's now expected to reach the Dominican Republic during Wednesday morning instead of Tuesday afternoon as was estimated in this morning's forecast. It's essential to mention that historically, we've seen that cyclones in this area can have adjustments in their circulation centers. We'll be attentive to any unexpected shifts that could alter the trajectory. However, for now, know that the forecast hasn't changed much. It's still anticipated to reach the Dominican Republic in the coming days. Here, we can see the consensus of trajectory models, which, despite the southward relocation of the center, still indicates that it will start turning northward over the next few hours, bringing the circulation center over the Dominican Republic. Some models even suggest a slightly more westward track over Haiti. However, the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center estimates that it would come near the city of Barahona during Wednesday morning. Another minor change in the intensity forecast is that most models suggest that it will maintain a consistent intensity for at least the next three days. This is likely due to the current appearance of the Caribbean Sea region and the strong wind shear affecting its circulation. After crossing over the Dominican Republic, it's still projected to potentially re-strengthen north of the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, becoming a hurricane as it moves away into the open waters of the Atlantic. Here we have the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center. At 5 in the evening, it's estimated that over the next 8 to 12 hours, it should begin that northward turn and then continue toward the Dominican Republic arriving in the south of the country during Wednesday morning. There's a tropical storm warning in effect for this area, which also extends to Haiti. Additionally, note that a tropical storm watch remains in place for parts of northern Dominican Republic and some islands to the south of the Bahamas. It's also projected that by the weekend, it could become a hurricane as it moves hundreds of miles north of Puerto Rico. If we zoom in a bit on the 5 p.m. latest track, you can see that the circulation center is estimated to pass over or near Barahona, then cross over Santiago, and exit near Puerto Plata. But remember, some shifts to the right or left are entirely normal, especially given how disorganized this circulation is. We'll be watching for any significant relocations of the center. The forecast remains as discussed earlier today. For example, the GFS model in its latest run from Tuesday night shows Tropical Storm Franklin arriving with sustained maximum winds of around 105 km per hour. A forecast very similar to what the National Hurricane Center indicates. On the other hand, we have the European model, 
which has consistently kept this system weak and moved it more westward over Haiti. Under this scenario, the maximum winds expected in the Dominican Republic would be between 40 to 50 km per hour. The German model predicts a track near or over Barahona, similar to the National Hurricane Center's forecast, but with a weaker system and some wind gusts near 70 km per hour. Regardless of the changes we've observed today and the erratic movement of the circulation center, the situation for the Dominican Republic looks quite complicated. While global models don't agree on the final track, they do align on the total amounts of rainfall expected across the Dominican Republic and Haiti. As an example, the GFS model forecasts around 150 mm falling over much of southern Dominican Republic, including the capital of Santo Domingo. There remains a high risk of flooding, and you should make decisions to protect life and property if you live in a flood-prone area. Note that the UK model also aligns with this forecast, as does the European model. Well, that's all the updates I have for you tonight. I'll provide a new video update tomorrow morning. I hope everyone has an excellent night, and followers in the Dominican Republic and Haiti should remain attentive and prepare for significant rainfall. For Puerto Rico, stay vigilant to any changes, although there's much consensus that it should cross over the Dominican Republic. Now, I bid you farewell, and until next time.